The Office of Victim Services strives to provide reimbursement for eligible crime-related expenses to innocent victims of crime in a timely, efficient, and compassionate manner. This video will explain the rules for OVS Personal Injury Claim Awards. If you need basic information about the claims process, see video number two in this series. OVS is a payer of last resort. This means OVS may pay for certain out-of-pocket costs related to a crime that are not covered by insurance or other resources. A victim who has suffered a physical injury as a direct result of a crime may be eligible for a personal injury award from OVS. Children who witness a personal injury crime may also be eligible for a personal injury award. For such people, crime-related expenses include essential personal property necessary for a person's health, safety or welfare, loss of earnings, and more. Expenses that OVS may pay for include, but are not limited to, dental, vision, medical and counseling services, and related transportation, prescription drugs, replacement of clothing, eyeglasses or contact lenses, domestic violence shelter costs, moving and storage costs, security devices, cleanup of a crime scene, transportation to court, and compensation for lost earnings. The law also allows claims to be awarded for other crime victims who are not injured as a direct result of a crime. These people may qualify for reimbursement under the exceptions categories. The law lists specific charges that, if included in a criminal report, may make a crime victim who was not physically injured eligible for reimbursement. The specific crime categories are listed in the graphics of this video. The crime categories are menacing in the second or first degree, criminal obstruction of breathing or blood circulation, harassment in the second or first degree, aggravated harassment in the second or first degree, criminal contempt in the first degree, stalking in the fourth, third, second, or first degree, and hate crime. If any of these crimes are included in a crime report, then reimbursement may be available for the victim for loss of earnings, essential personal property necessary for a person's health, safety, or welfare, security devices, counseling and related transportation expenses, securing a crime scene, moving expenses, transportation expenses necessary for court appearances in connection to the prosecution of the crime and vocational rehabilitation. Other crimes on the exceptions include additional menacing categories, unlawful imprisonment, kidnapping, criminal mischief, and robbery. In such instances, the victim may be eligible for reimbursement for loss of earnings, counseling and related transportation expenses, and transportation for necessary court appearances in connection with the prosecution of the crime. Other victims included in the exception category are those who are disabled, 60 years of age and over, under 18 years of age with a non-physical injury, under 18 years of age who was a witness to a non-personal injury crime, or vulnerable people who, as defined in the law, are unable to care for themselves. These people may be eligible to be reimbursed for essential personal property needed for their health, safety, or welfare, transportation for necessary court appearances in connection with the prosecution of the crime, counseling commencing within one year from the date of the crime, and related transportation expenses, financial counseling if elderly or disabled, and loss of savings of up to $30,000, but only for people defined by the law as vulnerable who are unable to care for themselves. In some circumstances, emergency awards may be provided to a crime victim for expenses that are included but are not limited to prescription drugs, including HIV medication, eyeglasses, contacts, emergency medical equipment, loss of earnings, moving and storage, security device installation or repair, lock replacement or repair, and crime scene cleanup. Decisions on emergency awards for personal injury claims are generally made within 24 hours. If an emergency award is made, payments are issued by OVS. An emergency award decision is not the final determination on a claim. 
while an emergency award may be denied, further investigation of the complete claim may later result in an award. It is important to note that should an emergency award be made and further investigation reveals the award should not have been made, the claimant must reimburse OVS for the amount of the emergency award. This concludes OVS video training number three on personal injury claims. OVS, providing help, healing, and hope for crime victims in New York State.